Third week of our travels across Canada was one of my favorites. This week, we got to attend a 24-hour kirtan in Toronto, as well as the Rata Yatra. But before getting to these wonderful festivals, which will be featured later in this video, we visited the Bruce Peninsula, a gorgeous place in Ontario, which made me feel as if we had traveled out of the country. I was so excited to see this particular section of the peninsula and swim into turquoise waters. It was so cold, my body was numbed after just a few minutes, but I felt so alive, happy, cleansed and energized. Thinking back on this moment now, I feel very grateful. I had just left a very difficult part of my life then, and wasn't quite ready to embark onto the next chapter. All this time in nature, the water, swimming and seeing beautiful sceneries really helped bring peace to my heart and cleansing to my body and mind. I got to meditate on exactly how to put God at the center, how to have Him take space, how should my relationships be, how should my environment be, and how should I be. The ups and downs of our trip, the conflicts, the discomforts, as well as the happy and harmonious moments really helped me clarify the details of my heart desires. And so now, though I do think my material needs for emotional, mental, and physical well-being should be met as much as possible, Krishna consciousness being the center of everything is the bigger priority. Krishna makes my soul happy, and that's much more significant. I feel like without Him, saturating every moment with thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards Him, life is pointless. After visiting the Bruce Peninsula, we were hosted by a very nice gentleman who allowed us to stay in his barn. After so many nights in a tent, it was really nice to have a bed and a room. Having my own space allowed me to serve my deities more peacefully, which I really appreciated. Hi, Dear. Howdy, Bo. What's up? Where are we, Dear? We are in Toronto, ISKCON, at the 12 hour Kirtan. With mm -hmm. so many Kirtanese artists yeah. and devotees, and it's just ecstatic. Yes. Yeah.
my spiritual master opened the kirtan, followed by many other devotees throughout the day. The singers were very talented. I spent most of my day in the temple room, filming, singing, and dancing. I was excited for the Ratha Yatra coming up the next day, and so I didn't want to go to sleep too late. When evening came, my friends and I went to Govinda's, the temple's restaurant, and then I went to sleep. We have gulab jamun. Yum. Traffic splash mango with added vitamin C. 40% cost. Next morning was the day of the Ratha Yatra. I woke up at 3 30 for Mangal RT. It had been a while since I had gone to the morning program, and I felt excited and determined to be there. We then took prashadam and left for the festival. Rata Yatra is a very auspicious and exciting festival. It consists of pulling the chariot of the deities of Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra while having kirtan and dancing. The story behind the Ratha Yatra festival is actually very touching. Krishna had been away from home for 100 years and the inhabitants of Vrindavan, the gopis and Radha, his lover, were desperately awaiting his return. The pulling of the chariots reflects the pastime of Krishna where the whole village of Vrindavan started pulling his chariot as well as that of his brother and sister back to the village with great ecstasy. As we pull Jagannath, Krishna's chariot, in celebration, we are bringing him back home and back to Radha. Knowing the story behind the festival gives it so much more meaning. Having heard the story in details the very morning of the festival, I could put my mind in some state of consciousness before pulling the chariot. I told myself, I am bringing Krishna back to Vrindavan, and I felt happy to be of service in that way. My heart felt happy like a warm feeling in the heart of a child who doesn't fully know what they're doing.
As we were passing under a viaduct, I thought how fulfilling, inspiring, and nourishing spiritual parties like this one are in comparison to your average modern party. I remember feeling so down in modern parties back in high school and university. A party like this one brings joy to the soul, and that is what I seek. After the procession, we took the ferry to get to the island where the festivities will keep going. Six hours later, still on the line. No pressure on me yet. I'm kidding, it's been like 10 minutes. On the island were many tents with shops, restaurants, kirtans, worship, prashadam and more. The line for the prashadam was enormous and thousands of people were on the island for the Ratayatra. There was a play, dance performances, and so much more. I had a really good time. <laughs> this week was such a blessing. To be around devotees, make new friends, celebrate Krishna and have everything centered around him is what I truly wanted and needed. It was definitely a turning point in our travels for me. Thank you. I love you. <laughs>